The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, down 73. You get the NASDAQ off 11. S&Ps are down 550. We have gold up $9.40 at 1350. You get silver up 5 cents, $20.25. Platinum is up 14 at 11.48. You get light sweet crude down 45 at 40.80. Uh, bonds, you get the 10 year up 8 ticks. The 30 up four and King Dollar. King Dollar is down uh, 976 ticks at 95.74. The Euro is up 89 and the Yen's down uh, 261 at 102. Come on, Tom. It's Friday, man. It's we Friday. It. That's a beautiful thing. Come on, Daryl. Man, it had morning. It has been one heck of a Friday, Thursday night, Friday, man. It, Things were it, just. It certainly flying has. last night. I was. I couldn't go to sleep for a while. I had just kept having to trade and trade. I could like. I can't leave. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the banner on the top, on the side. You can bring up the uh, platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these contracts trade. And what Daryl's talking about, folks, it was all about the yen last night. It was all about uh, the Japanese central bank. Uh, bottom line is that they didn't do anything, and that uh, put some strength behind the yen. Uh, this is a carryover uh, into this morning. It really didn't affect our markets too much until our own GDP came out at 8.30. And that's right. when they popped gold and they smoked the dollar. And uh, even with the pop in gold, uh, it looks, uh, <laughs> we'll see whether uh, it's going to hold the 1350 area, but it looks like uh, thus far it's going to be a failure. So um, you can expect uh, coming up to 1.30, this volatility is going to keep going, man. Yeah. There's a lot of information the market's still digesting, and I'm sure, you know, we haven't even been focusing on it, but I'm sure what, what companies are coming out today, right, with earnings. Oh, there, there must be. There. Well, well, and I can, after the bell, but the ECB, uh, their bank stress test, they're coming out at 4 o'clock. I know. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So be careful on holding any positions. Yeah. So, the weekend. Isn't that wild? I mean, it, it, uh, it's pretty wild, folks. That that's been an awesome Friday. I, saw, I was just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I made more in the last 24 hours than like in the last two weeks. It was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and now you, you, well, you must have been trading the yen or the, yeah, the yen oh, dollar, yeah. right? That was all over the yen. Yeah. I mean, right. I had some pound dollar and pound yen, but it was like almost exclusively yen. Right. And there's just loading up 50 contracts, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And so what, what you have here, folks, is this: is that so? We'll take a look at the yen. And you can see this this correlation. The correlation is pretty intense, man. Um, the as the yen, as when we talk, when the yen goes down, okay, that gets stronger, okay. Uh, bottom line is that this yen, uh, in the middle of the night, went from 103.67 to 102.71, like in a heartbeat. And that's when they must have announced that they're not doing anything, right? Uh, they're only buying yeah. back. What they announced is that they're only buying back um, ETFs. You know, they've been monetizing this debt for years. So, you know, and okay. what the market wanted is that they wanted helicopter money coming in. Sure. <laughs> market know? always wants well, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was really weird because there was like this explosion that really couldn't be explained by news because no news came out when it happened. Okay. But like at 1030, there was just this bam, like 200 pip dance on yeah. US yen. Right. And I mean, I looked everywhere, Reuters and Bloomberg and all my other back end, you know, yeah. news sites and nothing. And then the news comes out and then boom, you get another one. And then like they do their whole monetary policy. And I mean, it exploded two deviations in a minute. Yeah. Like down, up, down and flew down. And I mean, it just... I'm like, there's no other market I would trade this except for Nadex. I know. <laughs> and I mean, as I was taking in nice trades, I was like, just withdraw, 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 withdraw. Right. Like, I wasn't letting it stay in there at all. And I'm like, because, you know, everything's capped. 
you know, and so I wanted to go in and ha go pretty heavy, but I did, if I got stupid, I wanted to make sure the money was already in my pocket. And that's, that's the way to do it. you got to lock in those profits, man. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's risky and, and, reward. It's, you know, for right. sure. That's a and, big... that, and that's Daryl's point, folks. You know, using the Nadex platform, it's defined risk. I mean, in if you've ever traded the, the currency markets, I mean, it, it, you just, you'd be blown up. There's, you know... Well, if you're in the right oh. side of that trade, even if you're in the, well, you're right, the right side, you're bit off, you're all set, you, right. the bid offer spread got massively wide. Yeah. You know, and so, I mean, it'd even be hard to trade the 4X itself. Right. And so, and then, I mean, it wasn't just all straight little moves. I mean, it was, I mean, it was just flying. Yeah. So it'd be hard to trade anything. I was, I was sticking to binaries last night. So, and, you know, spreads are my preferred product. You know that. But binaries, man, I was all over it. I was like, oh, this thing's about to pop down. Grab a whole bunch of out of the monies. And it's yes. Just, you know, it's like, okay, they were 10, now they're 90. Thank you. You know, I'm out. So, I mean, it was just, it was fantastic. Like, it was it was very intense trading. Oh, I bet it was, man. I bet. And what what was interesting, folks, is that the, uh, the amount of expectation going up to that move. So, I was looking at the, uh, the amount of analysts on Bloomberg that were expecting um, more more than the Bank of Japan just buying back ETFs. They wanted more stimulus. Right? Oh, it was they like, thought it was more like, stimulus yeah. was coming. Yeah, it was like 90 to 95 percent. Sure. You know what I mean? But it was, it I was, think that had something to do with the first little explosion that happened like at 7.30. Yeah, it was, it was totally a lopsided move that they would actually do more. It's like, you know, what, what is intriguing uh, right now is that yeah, you stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy, Darrell, myself, we're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are off 62. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 5. S&Ps are down 3.5. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We hit the Dow down 75. NASDAQ is off 9. S&Ps are down 5. And if we go take a look at these markets, uh, you know, uh, Daryl's been, been talking about the currencies. Uh, you know, yesterday after the close, of course, you had Google come out with numbers and Amazon simultaneously. Uh, bottom line, Google's up uh, $27 right now. Uh, Amazon is trading up uh, five and a half dollars And uh, that being said... Prime and we've been talking about this, how their Prime and Cloud will probably give a big boost, and it did. Yeah, big time. Yeah, Perfect. Amazon had some big surprises with that earnings, right? It was a buck seventy-eight versus a buck eleven expected. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And prime, prime days are working. The the thing that okay, so you know, and when we, we talk about these contracts, what happens with with Amazon and um, Google yesterday? Amazon came out uh, well at one minute past. Google came out with uh, let's see, a few seconds past four. Um, and what you did have is that, you know, the NDX 100 jumped, um, but it would have been really, they didn't jump enough. It would have been really sweet. Well, for me, they didn't jump enough. I got half the positions off. But it would have been, because what ended up happening is that Amazon actually was down $15. After when, they announced? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Google was up. And so then what ended up happening, folks, at quarter past four, that's when the current, uh, the futures closed, then Amazon actually did go up another $13. Yeah. They went up 13 so it actually went up 25 And I wonder what it was that scared them on um, that initial release because yeah. something yeah. spooked the Amazon right. buyers right. and sellers, right. um, even with you know earnings per share coming in at like a buck seventy something no, versus I, 111 yeah, there was something there, right? There had to be because yeah. that's remarkable that um something that was set on a call or something. Right, there was something exactly where you know so enough 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 powerful people in positions were selling that's that right. stock right that's on right. that news. And but then five minutes later, they realized they were probably wrong. And so the the, the point is, folks, um, you know, if you were like we were trading binaries, okay, at four o'clock. So what ends up happening is that the 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 binary strikes. Bottom line is that they they hit one of them. They didn't hit the second one. I, w I was after, um, but it w it's really intriguing when you do them that close. Because when you do them that close, you have to have the order on the other side. Yeah, and because I, like I had one saw, order in and I didn't have the other order in. Like we saw, right? What was what was it was at like it spiked to thirty two. Yeah, it was at like forty seven sixteen maybe prior to the news coming right. out, and it right. spiked all the way to forty seven thirty two. Right. Came back down to like forty seven oh. Three or something yeah. came and, back to, and then to, went back to, to again. about forty, right. and it kind of that first five minutes it settled really where it opened at like forty seven, sixteen, twenty. I know, um, but yeah, if you're quick enough there, you can really catch some crazy moves in both directions. It, 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 it was it was a good move, and yeah. it, and you know uh, if you know, but like you said, it's that's, unfortunate that's they couldn't. One of the hard parts when they're both. Of, I like it when Google's on its own day. Okay. Because then you don't get, a, like, two different earnings companies. The yin and yang. Rating. No, I know. Well, that's why I was just, yeah, it's just too bad that that right. Amazon, for some reason, there was a head fake. Because if that right. had popped simultaneously, Easy. you really would have gotten such an ex yeah. 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 And Ford, they got knocked up last night, too. They basically said that they think they peaked in the U.S. Okay. Well, they're so. getting enough for those trucks, man. Trucks are... Like twice the amount of car for cars now. It blows my mind what trucks cost, right? I, oh, you mean well, they're right on par at least, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, man. they Just, do have big engines on most of them. I mean, they're oh yeah, they're no, mammoths. you're paying for the engine, right? What that, do you have, Daryl? You, you must have some mammoth truck with the horses and. I have a 1500, a 3500. <laughs> I have both. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The 1500 is what my wife uses around town. 3500 is what we use to pull the horse trailers. Okay. So yes. a, little, a little bit of engine, I'm sure. So I don't that, even know. So yeah. I don't know what it's that loaded. means either. I don't that, either. But that's that, that's that like means... the engine, really, right, Daryl? It's like three quarter Tron. Yeah, it's bigger, okay. and then it has Dewey wheels on it. Has an extended cab. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a hitch. And that's yeah, where we, the money costs. That's why. Because yeah. it's, right. it's, it's it like a high end truck. Tank. Yeah, it's a truck. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, you know, it's a high end it's engine. It would be like a performance engine. You know, it's just its performance is being able to haul. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy. It's called a heavy duty engine, and I mean, basically can. 
Uh, it's not the highest rated one. It's uh, it holds like twenty thousand pounds, and we pull about nineteen thousand. Wow. Whatever we have. Maximum. You're getting maximum value. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, we literally like right, right on there, but yeah, it does great. I got like air inflatable uh, airbags in the back of the tires. And so I just hit a button on the dash, and it inflates the airbags, and it keeps the truck nice and smooth. And, well, yeah. One of our tigers in the den saying it's the Texas Cadillac, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know it, man. If you don't have a truck here, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my sure. wife drives this little, she has a little Honda we've had forever. And she drives that thing around like she feels like she's in a little Mario golf cart when she drives it around after driving <laughs> the trucks. That's so funny. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take, a look, let's take a look at this market. So, um... It's going to get intriguing here, folks, because we're at the beginning of window dressing. You know, the the big NDX stocks are out. It's like, okay, what's going to push this market a little bit higher? Um, you know, we have these ABC structures that have not finished yet. So it's like, okay, is this thing going to roll? Um, to the downside, you're talking about. To the about, downside, yeah. yes. You know, uh, because if we go over and we take a look at... so. You know, Google was showing its hand, you know, two days ago. You know, it started pushing two days ago with volume on the swing point. So the thing that's amazing is that, you know, it's an 800 and something price point that this ABC is in Google. It's like, okay, man, are you really going to do that? Um, in percentage terms, that's that's a pretty nominal. It's not much. No, no, I know. If this was a $25 stock, it would be right. X amount of pennies away from it right it, now. Exactly, you know? exactly. Um, Amazon, uh, same way, you know, and so what I'm trying to figure out is that, you know, how much more patience uh, am I going to have here before that I just start selling this market, you know. So <laughs> next week we'll know, you know, I'm, I'm still going to, you know. Uh, See how the weekend goes if patience is still around. Well, it, what it is, it, it's, that, it's this window dressing deal. Like, you know, ExxonMobil came out with numbers today. They got destroyed. Um, this thing, Gap Loa, has big volume. You know, Chevron, CVX, that came out with numbers today. That's not getting destroyed, but, you know, it's, it's lower. You had a good point. Were we talking about it, or did you say it on the update where you were talking about that European company that disappointed yeah. and to no, look this for, is, and sure uh, enough, Chevron yeah. and Exxon, right? So, the, yes, thank you. Now, this is, folks, you know, I'm in. Mr. John Logan kicks us off. Okay, yeah. Um, you got it from him. Perfect. You know? Yeah. Well, I, I, he was I, talking about I, it. That's I got when it came out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so what had happened is that if you were looking at the U.K. yesterday, Royal Dutch came out okay. with their numbers. And, you know, the bottom line is that they got killed. Um, and... Is that them again? Yeah, here it is. They're getting killed again this morning. You know, when you look at this, and this is, you know, this is easy to do, folks, watching TFNN. Um, and it's really cool, man. You know, so Royal Dutch, two days ago, was trading at 2,042 pence. They trade, trade, trade in pence. It gapped down, you know, yesterday um, with monster volume to 1,962 pence. And now this morning, it's basically lower again. Uh, now, the thing that's pretty cool here, now watch this, though. When, if you're watching Tiger TV, it's coming into, uh, we hit 1915 pence, and it's coming into 1901 where it has some volume. That's going back to where it like, yep. broke out from. So it's like, okay, that might be it, you know, for right now. Sure. Um, but that was a good clue because what you do have, of course, is that that's a large integrated, you know. Yeah, for some of those mammoth companies that mm -hmm. are just... So sprawling, so different, so many different worldwide areas of, of exactly. oil. It would make sense that they're probably going to be on par. Exactly. You stay right there, folks. Tommy, Darrell, myself, we're going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is down 80. Nasdaq's down 7. S&Ps are up 5.5. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives.
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you know, and, you know, folks, if you've never test drove the Tigers, then come on over and test drive it. You know, one of the Tigers in there just came up with a great comment. And I love things that are kind of out of whack. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it, it seemed to find out more on a defensive position than an offensive position. And what he was saying is that, you know, that the doll is getting killed and oil's still down. It's like, oh, that's a big heads up, man. Yeah. It really is because it's like, that's a disconnect, you know, and it's really not because it's kind of what you were talking about yesterday is that there's so much supply. Sure. It, there's just too much supply. Sure. You know, but when you have the dollar down a thousand ticks, folks, and oil is still down, it's like, yeah. you know, and it's intriguing because, you know, right now, you know, the XLE, I'm shot the XLE and, and I'm almost ready to close it. Yeah. Um, you know, but we'll see. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a close call here. It's, it's, it is. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's so volatile, though. It's, and that's what, you know, yeah. you've, you've gotten a nice decline, right? Oh, yeah. No, and no. So it's going I, right. I hear you. That's, I, you I know, can understand it, what it, you're... It's into the swing point. So the XLE is yeah. at 65 and oil around $40, just mentally, that could struggle to go lower, right? There yeah. There could be forces that are like, yeah. no, 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 we're not going to... Yeah. Get back into thirty-five dollar oil here, like, right? Like, don't right. even let that get into your mind. You know, they're gonna try and give it some some demand it, there. It would seem. Yeah, it. it would seem it. There's no doubt. You know what I mean? There's no doubt, man. So, um, especially if you're bullish, movers. you just don't want to. Go ahead, Daryl. Market movers messing with you. Yeah, I mean, you just um, there's a lot of people that could be messing in there. You know, and, and <laughs> it, it's just and when you get to those levels, I mean, if you're bullish, you could try and build a. Build a wall at thirty nine dollars or something, oh, you know? Like, I, why listen, not? That, I, that I, could do, be a, I do. I do I, it in gold. If you if you really, you know, technically and fundamentally you understand it, and that's that's what markets are about, right? And yeah, the, the guys that you're talking about, these are the monsters. I mean, right. you, you can imagine, you know, right. um, you know, basically producers. Um, right. Exactly. You know, there's so many really players that could at those levels 
Yeah, because if it goes below thirty nine dollars instantly, you're thinking thirty five. Totally, in a heartbeat. Yeah, you know. And if we go over, watch this. If you take a look at this contract, folks, that it's trying to test that April low. And, and that's a rough chart looking. There. And that's a dang, that's a dangerous level. It's forty fifty eight. We hit. Oh my God! Look at that's crazy. What does it? It hit forty fifty seven this morning. So it made the test. Because if it breaks that, <laughs> if it can't hold that forty fifty eight, your, your next staircase is. 3867. There's a lot of symmetry in that in that decline. Isn't there? Remember when I was doing the show with Basil that week when yeah. he was focusing so often right. on how maybe it's like completely a symmetry on each side? Well, right. guess what? If that's the case, then this is going right down to $35. It's a twin. You know? I mean, it's, I know. It's, it would match up so far, so no, it it's would. got one little leg to complete it. I know. That's not outlandish, you know? No, no, it's, and it's the fact not. that it falls right at $35 is even more intriguing. No, it is. There's no doubt. And um, it's, 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 I almost didn't realize the chart looked that bad off the top until you just pulled it up the way it's just well, you know what it's been, been down, 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 down. It has. Yeah. Every day it's like 50 it's cents, kind of 80 sneaky. cents, 70 cents. As that happened, cents. I was yeah. like, wow, I didn't realize. And I saw, what did they say? Was it nine days in a row? Down nine days. Today would be seven, um, and that's going... Yeah, and as he's saying, the market's at record okay, highs. Okay, today would be seven. Yeah, the market's at record highs, and oil's down 20%. Yeah, and I think this would seven close lower, mm -hmm. closes lower, maybe. You know, if we go look at the uh, NDX 100 as to what is uh, moving the NDX 100, uh, it's only up four bucks, but it's all about Google. And what does happen, folks, is that because you get the two different classes of Google now, you get the Google and then you get the... Um, um, I guess different classes. The L shares. class, yeah, you know. 4.6% uh, uh, on both of them. Uh, then you get uh, one, let's see, SBA Communications is up 1.5%, Series up 1.2, Series Satellite this is. Um, taken away from it, uh, look at this one. Uh, man, that's getting this. Stericycle, what does this company do? This is down. They don't make as much money as the market thought they were going to make. No, so they're regulated waste management services. This thing is getting toasted and roasted. Wow, holy cow. Look earnings at, are not their strong suit, it looks no. like, in the last... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This, Folks, if you want to see a classic, uh, this gapped down in April from $124, open the next day at 91 crawls all the way back up, and then gaps again from 106 down to 82 Now, don't touch this stock. Don't even think <laughs> about it, because... Oh, oh, man, look at this three of them. go back again. This That's three remarkable. Of them. Oh, maybe we will touch that stock. Who knows? Oh, not, not just it yet. It wasn't demand right. enough for you, and now you're like, no, oh, it now it's, now it's well, possible. Well, when it buy. is. There's three the, massive failures. That's that. Well, now that we got three failures, well, then let's yeah. pull out the raid. And Two is scary, yeah. but three is no, like, three's sign better. Me up. Three gap plays. Three gap plays, man. Three gap plays. I, no, I wouldn't do it yet. You're going to let them test them out. Triple, but three gap plays. Triple gap Sunday cone right there. Come on Yeah, three gap plays are pretty cool. But I, That's I, quite a chart. I wouldn't Either touch way. it. Oh, this yeah, is the, quite if, a chart. It's SRCL, folks, okay? <laughs> If you look at this uh, SRCL, man, oh man. and that's, that's gonna go, an awesome looking chart. That's going to go to six, that, sixty-one dollars. <laughs> the fact that it just went from let's, what, what it, went from twelve dollars in two thousand and two, yeah, even lower. Watch this, sick. Eight dollars and forty-five cents in two thousand at the end of two thousand one. Yeah, up to a buck fifty. And yeah, back, now it's back to ninety. Yeah, like in a heartbeat. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, let's see the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, the strength is Verizon, that's up 1.5%. Procter & Gamble's up 7 tenths, Microsoft's 5 tenths. Taken away from it, uh, you get the Exxon Mobil's down to 3%. Chevron's down 1.1, Goldman's down 9 tenths, and you get McDonald's off 9 What's tenths. What's going on with Goldman? Did they come out with their numbers? Let's take just... a look. So, Goldman is down a buck 29. Oh, did you say they were absent at both of the conventions? Goldman Sachs? All the banks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they said it was a very much a it was the, the people driven issue. It wasn't like the economic issues, and so like they're staying out of both sides. Like it's like it's rare to never see like any of the major banks show up. Yeah, they'd probably be showing up for both sides realistically. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. So exactly. You know, I mean, just, just right. spreading the wealth, hey, you know? You got to make sure the winner is in your pocket. That's right, spreading the wealth all around, exactly. They don't choose sides. That's just, that's never a winning battle. You just, you choose both sides. They, there's no doubt. There's, there's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's sort of how I trade. When I trade, I'm like, hey, I, this is my point if it goes up, and this is my point if it goes down. Well, that's, and, you, you know, know we got either that, one. I got a plan for either one. So and that's good. It's a good mentality. No, listen. You don't get tied to things. But, you're always thinking about what could, what if, what if this happens what well, if that happens yeah and exactly. and what what does happen in the, in the uh, Nate X platform folks uh, bottom line is that when you have those announcements uh, you know oil at 1030 Wednesday gas 1030 Thursday um, you know you can have that shot now this Thursday on the gas one you couldn't go both sides of the market because it had moved uh, so much prior to the 1030 announcement you know you could have did one of the things I was looking at on the NDX 100 with those binaries yeah was um, and I think it would have been like you know 18 points maybe to the upside for the NDX 100. So okay. you're talking about a, a huge move, higher yeah. than it got. And this, right. you know, I was looking at Outlandish. I think I had uh, 47.36 was the upward band. For the weekly? No, this is last night. Okay. We're waiting for Google and Amazon. Okay. That you could have taken those both sides, like we're like oh, we're doing. Oh, interesting. So you could have had, you know, the. The top side, yeah, which was a big move, but you could have got those for about six to seven, okay. and on the bottom side, same thing. And I'm sure Dow, you did like seven to eight, and they were huge moves. But then you're only risking 15 on both sides either way, wow. and um, it got to 47.32, yeah, and 47.36 was the upper band, and Amazon didn't even react. So right. that's a possible trade for sure. Yeah, yeah. stay I, right. I on it. Stay right I, there, I folks. It. Dow, Tommy, myself, come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Daryl Mott, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. Let's go out to beautiful Garden Grove, California. We get Carlos. Carlos, what's happening, brother? Uh, how you doing, Tom? How you doing, Tommy? Morning, how you Carlos. Doing, Daryl. Hey there, man. Morning. How are you guys? Doing good. You're doing great. Yourself? Fantastic. Oh, I'm doing very well. Thank you. You're up bright uh, and early, man. You guys got to get up early. I'm glad I, you know, I. It, 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 Market closes at one o'clock. I, I know. I know. You can be yeah, fishing no. at one o'clock. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's my sleeping time, one o'clock, because I trade uh, during the night. It's nap time. <laughs> yeah. Naps. Naps are awesome too, they man. Just, uh, yeah. Because the, the time is excellent for me. It takes a nap. See, that's you know. Yeah, uh -huh. it's an excellent time because I start trading around uh, 11 uh, p.m. p.m. Okay. Okay. From 11 p.m. to one o'clock uh, uh, p.m. You are too and much, then, man. <laughs> and I go to sleep, and then when I wake up, the, the Asian markets are open again. And Who needs sleep these days? Everybody needs I sleep, know. man. Exactly. <laughs> what are you talking about? You sleep when you die. <laughs> That's a fact, man. Well, it's, fact, an, it's, Wall it's a necessity that sometimes I don't know if I should practice. You know, um, one of these days, uh, I, I got a couple great pictures if I could find them. Larry, Larry wouldn't mind. I got a couple great pictures of Larry Pesavento. You should see Larry's <laughs> office, folks. La Larry's got this office, right? And he has this big, uh, uh, in the floor, it's a, it's a Fibonacci deal. And I get pictures of him, like, in the middle of the night, at his desk, Sleeping in trading currencies. Gotta man. get a little nappy. Oh, yeah. oh, he's got he's got yeah, alarms a going and everything, man. <laughs> and, and, and it's a great picture, man. I just when the I, market's rocking, but, man. Totally, those, those totally. nights, I'm sure. But let me tell you something, Tom. Yeah, that during there. that time, yeah, I'm re-listening the programs during the uh, during the night. Okay, and that helps me a lot because <laughs> I can hear every single program and replay it. And that's a wonder that I always appreciate from TFN and from you guys. Wow. Awesome, man. We appreciate you listening, man. Thank you so much. You gotta love the internet. I'm on YouTube myself. You know, yeah. just not oh. not trapped into TV anymore, and it's great. Exactly. You know, you have educational. I listen it to is. different podcasts you like. You know, you can stuff like TFN, no. but across the board, it's. I find myself interesting. I'll wake up and you know, you don't turn on the TV, right. and, and you know, I can play on my computer. And when I say play, it's maybe cooling up some cool, interesting no. interview it's, online, it's a good TED education. talk, stuff like I that. Agree. You know, no, like, I know, man. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't we don't need the TV except for when I uh, have my ThinkOrSwim uh, platform. Okay. I put the mute on uh, on the uh, CNBC. Yeah. And I keep the audio from uh, the program. Uh, yeah. Uh, CFNN. Yeah. And that's all my night. I love it's it. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> um, today, today the reason I call is I have two contracts of uh, uh, oil. Okay. I'm, I'm sure oil. Yeah. But um, I noticed this morning the the uh, the because it was coming down slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah. It was, it's been an excellent uh, trade, but seems like this morning for some reason stopped. I while. listen. I, I agree. You know, I'm shot the XLE, and I'm doing. You know, normally I do an update in the newsletter at two thirty, but I suspect I'm going to close it at noon. I said I'm going to do it at noon because. It, it, let's go look at it. It looks to me like, okay, so CLU, it, it came right where that, um, you know, this, this swing point here from the 18th uh, of April, which is 4058. Now, it's rejected that thus far, you know. And yeah. it's like, hey, you know, this was a good trade, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. It was a straight down move. So it's like, okay, yeah. You know, maybe it bounces before that, or even if it goes down to the end, it's like, okay. You know that markets don't move in straight lines. They like, don't. Like that. They you don't. Know, yeah, like, exactly. You know, so I, I can tell you, I suspect when I get off here at noon, we'll probably close that. Because I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm saying to myself, this doesn't make sense. The XLE is only down 26 cents right now, and Exxon Mobil is gapped. And that's a little bit the same thing. Daryl's well, like, I took those profits and withdrew them, right? You got to take exactly. profits I, and be heard, aware when uh, you're. Daryl you, saying that. I mean, I literally when I heard Daryl saying that, I said, No, I have to, I have to take my profits because I, I put this position uh, last week. Yeah. And during the, uh, the during the uh, report. I remember um, uh, Tommy and, and you t uh, talking about uh, possibly drop. So I like the analysis you were doing. It was very, very good. It helped me to remain short. Yeah. So when it went down, 
I feel like I'm getting a little greedy on it, and I want to uh, um, take some money. Yeah, it's probably going better than you had hoped, right? And so, like, you got to keep that in check, right? You know, you Sometimes. do, man. Yeah. And it's 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 pretty tough to, you know. Uh, you always want more. You always want more. It's yeah. human so, nature. Exactly. Just to what, be, be aware of that, it really is. Yeah, so you got to fight your human nature of yeah, always wanting yeah. more. And it, just remember yeah. why you're trading. You're trading to take money out of the market, and and you don't have nothing until you take it out. You know. And literally, this is last I, night. I took four withdrawals out of the market because I'm like, I'll be stupid and give it. That's the way to do it. It, well, it, it allows you to look at things uh, independently as much, does. right? We say, you know, yeah. you know, are you buying or are you selling? No, no, no. Like you could, you always have the choice to be initiating what you're in or, yep. or getting out of it. Like, right. would you take this yeah. trade right now with all of the money you have, including the profits? Right. Would you? Would you? Would you sell it right now? Right. Right. I don't know. Yes, and, and no, I that's what I'm saying. Right exactly. No way, you know, I'd like, sell it right now. Yeah, no. Right. And you'd be selling it for a much bigger position because you'd have all those profits that you uh, put yeah, in. Yeah. With, at you risk. get all cocky, and all of a sudden you think you're trading God, and yeah, I just right. I know myself. I will get that way, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, it's a great I, point. We know it too. Exactly. Every, every, you know, you have like, the inclination withdraw, withdraw. to withdraw. want more when there's more money at stake. Right. So be aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. The ACH on Nadex is instant. The wire they process like at three o'clock. So you get your money a little faster on the wire, you know, because you get it the same day. But like, I don't need it today. So yeah, they have the a great AC, the ACH will withdrawal. take the money I, out of your account. I use the ACH like, too. Second. We then, do the yeah. same thing in we terms do, of deposits, the, withdrawals, because right. you allow yourself to, I think, have a better risk reward yeah. when, when you're just keeping the amount that you need to trade right. there and taking exactly. out profits. Right. Yeah. What we're talking uh, about, folks, uh, is that on the Nadex platform, you know, you can put money in, take money out. We're talking about the ACH a aspect of it, because when you do make the bread, you know, before the end of the day, you can just say you hit a button, that money comes out, so that you're not parlaying that money on and top of the money. I think it's just simply thinking mentally that the money in my bank account is like my money, right? Yeah, Versus it is. the money in your trading yeah. account is somewhat risk capital. It should oh, be if you're trading. Risk capital. So, so that's the key. Where you yeah. know, if you could do it with your own brain, and very few can, right? right? Where you can right. keep it in your trading I account can't. and know that it's like, I yeah. Can't. And so you just take it out. Now take it's it in your out. cash account. And guess what? It's a lot harder to just transfer oh, it back over and try, risk it all try because to get you, it out of my once cat, it's in your yeah. bank account, it's, it's a different ball it's game. A different game. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's, well, it is. It makes thank, all. The, it's basically cashing in your guys. chips. I don't want to take more of your take time. Take that money uh, and run, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, because I remember somebody says in TFNS that we are in the moving business. So I, I think I'm gonna, I'm joining the, uh, That's right. the business today. Move, move it right into your account. Have a great week. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Bye. It's a beautiful thing. That was a great yeah. discussion. Yeah. People should, that's yeah. like, you know. Oh, it's important. I've done that in many things, whether it's trading, you know that I've played poker. poker. Oh, totally. Daryl, poker, same exact thing, because that's exactly. so similar. Oh, it's huge. Any win was right, right out, you know, yeah. because yeah. mentally, yeah. That's it's and it's all mental, which is yeah. interesting because oh, yeah. oh you know like you could keep it in your trading account if you were that good if you you know that but guess what nobody is it's so much you need exactly. to be aware of what you need to do just like you say Dale you know yourself right yeah, you know I, I know ego, that I I, I, my, I put my ego over on the savings account I don't need my ego in my trading account perfect you that know? that really <laughs> relates it yeah I just yeah. want things I want to go on vacation <laughs> it's real cash it's real things once it's in your bank account because then you can literally walk to the bank and take it all out in cash uh, so. It's Stay right there. We're going to be coming up with Tom from Plymouth, and he does that a lot. He's uh, he's ripping that money out left and right. <laughs> Daryl, myself, Tommy, going to be right back, folks. You stay right there. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade C H A U or C H A D. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Morning, Tom. How are you doing? Pretty darn good. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> totally. So, so you're, you're, are, you, are you in the... He, he wants to look at the JDST, folks. This is the direction, 300% uh, bear position uh, of the market effect of junior gold miners uh, index. Now, are you trading this? Are you looking to buy it? What are we doing? I'm looking to jump in right about now, I think. No, I don't think well, I'd do it. Okay? No? Uh, this, is, this is a little dangerous right here. And this is why. So if we go over to, this is the GDXJ. Uh, if, we, if we look at the, uh, the index that you're trading off here. So this is what you got, folks, okay? You're at 49.77. And you, you, you could get a failure out here, Tom, okay? But it hasn't failed yet, man. Okay? So, you know, if you want to wait to the end of the day, um, you could do that, but if this close is right where it is, that could spike on Monday or Tuesday, man. Yeah, I hate to go in over the weekend, too, but... Uh, but that's, uh, that's I was just thinking in my, my head, I was like, right. man, that would be bold of you to that's hold the, this over the weekend no, on a triple right. round. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. It's, it's pretty cheap right now, though. Yeah, it's it's cheap and it can get cheap. But listen, it's a lot I, cheaper I, than it was yesterday I, too, I, which is interesting. I, right, you know, and, like, and I yeah. think we're getting a pullback. But the bottom line, the way this is setting up right now, that is not set up. Uh, if it closes where it is, if the GDX closes where it is, this thing's going to spike on Monday. And you know that could be it. You know, like gold. And maybe that's the buy then. Yeah. You know, gold spiked today and gave it up. You know, we'll see whether it closes at the uh, you know the thirteen forty six level or thirteen fifty two right now. Um, you know, but it's a close. It's it's not worth it for that risk over the weekend. You know, it's just yeah. not. You know. Okay, I'm with you on that. Great advice. Well, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a call next week. We'll see what happens. Yeah, all right. Okay, right. brother. All right. Well, you take care. Have a Have great a one, one man. man. Have a safe one. And of course, don't forget, right here, folks. Um, <coughs> you know, we get great programming coming up through the rest of the day. Uh, Daryl, Tommy, myself, a uh, 10 o'clock Monday morning, a uh, bull bear binary option hour. Uh, it's going to be a big week next week because you get the beginning and end of window dressing. Uh, we're coming into, it's like, okay, what else is left? So we'll probably be talking about not only the 
Um, the binaries, maybe the weekly binaries, you know? Yeah, um, and there's a lot. I mean, the market's going to be digesting what we went oh, through this week, right? Huge. And, you know, you huge. did a webinar last night. The earnings yeah. are out. Now what's the next trade? Yeah. I think a lot of people were kind of just had that same mentality. Right. You know, waiting if you were going to make a big you know, market direction play and just letting, I mean, they're all industry leaders. So yeah. no matter what you're deciding to buy or sell, you probably wanted to see how everything shook out. Then maybe you start taking some positions, trading, so yeah. we'll see. Oh, no, no, there's, there's no doubt. It's a reset. Right. I mean, the bottom line is that you get a reset, you're at highs. Um, you know, the NYA is not, the transports are not. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, the currencies look like they're gonna rock the market. The thing that is pretty wild out here, that even, you know, the, the commodities are still moving higher is that with the Bank of Japan not putting more stimulus in, that is just the, the you think that actually they got hurt because that's saying that, hey, you know, we're not going to have helicopter money. But yeah. just the opposite happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so what's up for the weekend, Daryl? Um, my daughter has been at Felicity, has been at roping camp all week. Roping camp. And, I guess, huh? Yeah, she's moving up, and uh, so now she gets to start doing like breakaway roping and heading and healing and all that. So she has my roping horse, and so she's out there all week learning how to uh, rope a cow I love for, comp it. for competition for rodeos. Wow. So we we'll get to go see her do a little performance on Saturday and pick her up. It's and beautiful. Sounds stuff. like a perfect weekend, man. Totally. Well, yeah. listen, folks, you stay right there. we got a lot of great programming coming up for you. Thanks, Daryl. Have a great one. Safe one. Thanks, Thanks pal. Dow right now is up, uh, is down 29, Nasdaq's up 5, SPs are up 1, you stay right there folks, lots of nice, uh, lots of uh, great trading uh, coming up. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.